I am Dr. Roslin, Department of Computer Science and Engineering, Savita University. Now I am going to take DFA. DFA means Deterministic Finite Automata. The finite automata is called deterministic finite automata if there is only one path for a specific input from current state to next state. For example, S0 is the initial state. It is going to S1 here with the string value is B and S0 is going to another state is S2. The string value is A and one more path is going within the state is A. So, detail I am going to explain about the DFA. This DFA is your quintuple. So, M is equal to Q sigma lambda Q naught capital F where Q is equal to finite set of states. Sigma is equal to finite set of input symbols. What is this state? The state means this is the state. S not is a state. The input symbol means a comma b is the input symbols of this particular diagram next the transition function q into sigma in place to q that is a finite set of states the a symbol from q to p what is this q the q naught is the it is belongs to capital Q. The Q naught is here. Initial state. Or. Start state. F. Capital F. Is the subset of capital Q. That means this is the. Final state. Or. Accepting. State. Method of specifying DFA. Method specifying DFA. This is phi triple DFA can be represented by two ways. Two ways. One is transition diagram another is transition table what is this transition diagram it is a phi triple graph u state and edges represent the transition from one state to another state example this is a star state always we have to start q naught or start state or initial state this is going to another state is q1 with the string value is a it is going to q2 the string value is b and within the state a string is going and this is the final state so we have to be represented in the double circle next i am going to tell about the transition table for a transition table, the transition function is used. This is input symbol here, state. So, what are the states? How many states are here? There are the three states one is Q0, another is Q1, another is Q2. How many symbols are there within this diagram? There are the two symbols. One is A, another is B. So, we have to represent A, 
B. So Q naught is the with the symbol A where it is going. It is going to Q1. So we have to represent Q1. Next Q1 with A where it is going. Q1 with A there is no path will be the so we have to put dash. Next Q2 with A anything is going. Q2 with A yeah within the same state A is going. So we, we, we have to write state Q2. Next Q0 with B. Q0 with B any state is going. There is no state. So we have to put dash. Next Q1 with B. Q1 with B it is going to Q1 with the symbol B it is going to the state Q2. So we have to write Q2. Next Q2 with B. Q2 is a state and B is a symbol where it is going. Q2 with B there is no state there is no path so we have to put dash. So this is called transition table. So next I am going to explain with the example with the example I am going to explain about the DFA. So this is the M. Three states the given Q0, Q1, Q2. Q0, Q1, Q2 of states. 0, 1 is the symbol. Q0 is initial state. The final state is Q0. So where the transition defined as follows. With this transition we have to draw the DFA. So initial state is Q0. So I am writing initial state is Q0. So the Q0, 0. 0 symbol where which state it is going? It is going to the same state. So Q0. So we have to be right within the state it is going. What is the string? What is the string? 0. So we have to write 0 here. Next. Next, 0, comma, Q0, comma, 1. So, Q, Q0, comma, 1, where it is going? It is going to Q1. So, another state is Q1, I am writing. So, the string is going, the symbol is 1 is going here. So, Q1. Next, Q1, comma, 0, where it is going? It is going to the another state. So, another state I am writing here. That is a Q2. With the string value is 0. So, it is going to Zero. Next, Q1, comma 1. So the Q1, it is with the one value, this within the same state. So I am writing is within the same state, it is 1. Next, Q2, comma 1. Q2 the state, the string is 1. Where it is going? It is going to Q1. So, so the value is 1. Next, Q2, the string value is 0, it is going to the which state? Q0, so it is going to the Q0 state, the value is 0, so this is the final state, so we have to be represent as a double circle, so this is the initial state as well as the final state. Next, I am going to consider one string, the particular string is going to be accepted with this DFA or not, I am going to be verifying. So the string value is the string value is 0, 1, 0, 0. So let us check whether it is accepted by the above DFA. So sigma initial value is 0, the string is 0, 1, 0, 0. So how we have to mean 0, 1, 0, 0. So first we have to write it like this. Next, uh, within the diagram, see with this diagram we have to be verified. So Q0, the initial, initial state is Q0. So Q0 with 0, where it is going, within the same state is only it is going. So we have to write Q0 here. 
next q not with 1 where it is going q not with 1 q not with 1 it is going to q1 so we have to write the q1 next q1 with 1 where it is going the same state only it is going again so we have to write q1 next this q1 with 0 next q1 with 0 where it is going q1 with 0 it is going to q2 so we have to write q2 next q2 with 0 what is where it is going q2 with 0 it is going to q0 so we have to write q0 next q0 with 0 q0 with 0 what is going the q0 only the q0 with 0 again it is going to same state so q0 so this is the initial state this is the final state so this string is accepted with this diagram so the given six accepted because the transition is ending with final state ending with final state thank you